83 high school students from around California spent a month at UCSD over the summer learning about science, engineering, and campus life. Oh, I loved it. Um, I learned a lot and I met a lot of new people. It's an amazing experience. It's a really good program and she definitely enjoyed it so much that she is so interested in coming back to UCSD and studying here. And even if they wanted to get homesick, which <laughs> they didn't have time for that because they were just so involved. There were several opportunities for parents to come onto campus. They were ecstatic. They really were. For UCSD's Jacobs School of Engineering, which organized and hosted the California State Summer School for Mathematics and Science, or COSMOS, at UCSD, the goals are twofold. For us in the Jacobs School of Engineering, it's very important that we establish as early on as possible the pipeline for the very best students to come into engineering, into science and technology, and that we uh, get them excited and motivated to join us here at the Jacobs School. In 2005, UCSD became only the fourth U.S. host campus for the Cosmos program after Irvine, Davis, and Santa Cruz, with major funding from Toyota USA Foundation and Qualcomm. They need people, employees who are well-versed in math and, with a math and science background. Former California First Lady Gail Wilson helped pass the 1998 law that set up Cosmos during her husband Pete Wilson's second term as governor. And I just realized that high school is a time when you really need to grab those students who show an interest, have some potential, give them a little extra support and encouragement, and is what Cosmos does uh, in hopes that they will continue on in science and math careers. Wilson visited with the students at UCSD, ranging from 9th to 12th graders, during their final week on campus. The high schoolers were divided into five clusters, kinetic sculptures with a mechanical engineering bent. This looks like a toy, but there's a lot of technology behind it. The science of computing emphasized artificial intelligence. For earthquakes in action, Kevin McCulley and other students learned how to build structures to better withstand earthquakes. Um, it's supposed to hold between 100 and 150 pounds. Or I've never even started before. I don't think I'll look at a building or a bridge in the same way ever again. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography hosted a program on living oceans and climate change, while the Molecular Biology Revolution Cluster had students spending a lot of time in the lab learning about DNA sequencing and in the field where biology professor Robert Schmidt grows genetically modified That's corn. For a lot of corn. Labs, classes, and field trips kept students busy six hours a day. But we also have to balance that with a great residential program full of exciting opportunities um, in the evening times to learn about campus, to find out what it's like to be part of college life, to do team building exercises, and just to build a, a community of scholars so they'll have friendships that will last beyond Cosmos. Students also benefited from a high teacher to student ratio, almost two to one. The staff range from UCSD students to tenured faculty, including teacher fellows recruited from local high schools. I think it's a great uh, opportunity for kids from all over California to get to interact in this kind of environment before getting to college. So we're a bunch of nice people. I really enjoyed working with them so far. And so I do hope they apply and, uh, and go for college. I do hope they all come back to UCSD. I look forward to seeing them again. Organizers are now hoping to recruit new corporate and institutional sponsors to grow the Cosmos program at UCSD to 120 students in 2006, then level off at 150 students the following summer. Meantime, many of the Cosmos class of 2005 say they do plan to apply for admission to UCSD, and more importantly, to pursue careers in science or engineering.